Hi George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used the stamps uh, Positive Thoughts and I've used that leaf, that flower and the butterfly. For the sentiment I've used Happy Birthday and I took that out of Clubhouse and I've just used the Happy Birthday. Card stock I've got a piece of card of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 7 eighths, I've folded it in half and I've burnished it. I've got a piece of white, I've got two here, um, at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I have a piece of DSP, now this is from the painted palette. Uh, the one with the rose and the bird. This is retired. But I'm sure people have got black and white paper in their stash. Um, and this is cut at five and a half by three and three quarters. I have a piece of paper, a piece of white card at four inches by two and uh, two and three quarters. So it's two and three quarters by four inch what we're going to stamp on there and I have another piece of white at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside and inside I stamped a butterfly so we put a butterfly in the inside so I need to stamp on that and I need to stamp on that now this idea did come from Pinterest I keep saying that just lately um, and Pinterest. Oh, I just shut it. Right, uh, where is it here? And this is Positive Thoughts. Oh, yeah. Kylie. Oh, my God. Kylie Bertucci. B E R T U C C I. Can't read it, but there it is. There, and that is where I've got it from. Uh, it's a little. I've made it a little bit different than what she has, but I'll tell you where I've changed it. So that's today's. So that's my start. Right then, to get started, now I've stamped all this in Versafine. Let's do the butterfly first. So that was the stamp nearest to me. And I also need to stamp one on a bit of scrap to cut out. So you need a bit of scrap to cut out the butterfly. So that's and that can go to one side. And this we're going to work on. I'm not going to put a piece of paper underneath because it's already marked. So with our leaves, ink it up, and I'm going to stamp this in this corner. I'm going to stamp it down. Now because this ink versifying really dark, I'm going to stamp off and stamp off again and then do it again on the side of it to give it a shadow. Now this is what she never done on her card, that's what I'm doing different. flower. I'm going to do the same. Ink it up and we're going to stamp it here to the right of the piece of card. 
stamp it off twice and then do a shadow like that and then clean the stamp I find with these distinctive stamps that the um, ink goes, doesn't matter what kind of ink you use, but it goes right in to all the grooves and you have trouble getting the ink out. Oh, I've done it. And then with the happy birthday, that's not on there straight. We just stamp that up here. Sorry, I've done it straight. Yes. And that is it. That is our stamping. So. Right, don't need this no more. What we need to do is grab our scissors and cut out this butterfly. Oh, I have gone round its antennae or antenna, antenna eyes, because there's two of them. I don't use them, usually I chop them off. But on this card I actually went round them. This is quite actually an easy butterfly to cut out. There are some dies for this set and I'm contemplating on buying them. And then we have it. And just bring that up like that. So, let's stick all this together now. Right, first we'll stick the DSP on. left my house for nearly three weeks I'm going to be cracking up after 12 I tell you put the bit inside No choice to put a bit inside on a black card base. <laughs> right, now this bit is going flat. I 
and we're going to stick that in the middle of our card. Like that. I did stick it down, didn't I? Yeah. Now then, with the um, butterfly, what I've done, we've got a very a mini dimensional, and I cut it in half. And I put half of each dimensional on either side of his body. Oops. Took the back ends off. And then I put a bit of glue on his body. And I, and I glued him just As there at an angle. Hold that down. And then I press the wings down. And the wings actually stay up. So they won't go flat because the dimensionals stop them from folding flat. Just make sure you hold the body down until it's gripped or a spring back up through the when you press the dimensionals down. That way when you put it in the envelope to post and they take it out, these will not lay flat. They'll spring back up. So all we've got to do now is add some gems. So I've got my silver gems and I'm going to put a bit of glue down its body and my pokey tool I am going to put three gems on it. Oh yeah. And that is today's card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.